Welcome back to a Vault Today Vault Phase. Today is August 27th, 2024, and uh, more stories about this one. So, originally I was a little bit scared that I wouldn't have the materials for arrows, you know, lapis and andersite or whatever, but those were trivial. Those actually all turned out just to be in the chests around me. Melons. Melons were just a little bit harder because I only had melon seeds. So... I went a little bit of ways away to that one patch of not winter biome that I have near me. Just run across the ice lake and you get to just a small patch of green. And so I made a small melon and pumpkin growing area just on the edge there. And I probably could set up like some kind of a zero tick redstone uh, farm potentially. I'm not there yet, but I could do that. <laughs> and so... I cleared out some land, I planted some, I used some of the seeds, because I accidentally broke one with my multi-tool, and I forgot, oh yeah, that's luck and not silk touch. So, I planted a few more, and eventually, I was down to six, I needed seven. So, it's daytime, I figure, oh yeah, I've got some time, I can just let the game play through a little bit. I look down, I start reading a manga, I look back up, it's nighttime. And thankfully, two more had grown, so that was one more than I needed, and the rest are seeds upstairs for when I plant some more closer to here. But, the point is, it was almost a very scary situation, and that's all I really have to talk about right now, anyway. So, let's get into the vault. Uh, let me just make sure that I have a bounty active. Yes, I do. Ah, yes, and I've since found out that this is pronounced Benitoite. Benitoite. Or something like that. I'm sure a geologist will get at me in the comments section sooner or later. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yes, that did still load me in. But thankfully, I have that. I have my food. I have more food in here, just in case. Customary looting of the braziers, as always. I don't know why I'm like this. We have an elixir vault, so that's going to change how I approach this vault. That means we probably aren't exiting from here. I am going to activate retribution and smite and let us begin. I'm still gonna mark the exit just in case. Oh, oh! Oh, you know, I just noticed, okay, so we have chromatic, whatchamacallits is, chromatic logs. We also have, yes, yes, frosty blossom leaves. This is one of the rarer types of leaves, uh, insofar as I'm aware, for the blossom trees. And this will definitely help us get some saplings later. Why is there nothing here? Ooh, never mind, spoke too soon. Heck yeah. You love to see it? Ask and you shall receive sometimes. Ask and you shall receive sometimes. Yes. Yeah, that is true. Alright. Ooh, nice. Benidoid. Which is great. I will always say that's great because we are ever on a search for knowledge. And in fact, I believe we are one knowledge point away from Kajarium. Oh yeah, and it goes away during the um Like the messages in the upper right hand corner about skill points, they go away during the what was I stuck in? Oh, cobwebs. They go away inside the vault. Now, I'm also looting these chromatic... logs? Yeah, chromatic logs. Because... they are a nice decorative element, I think. You can't actually grow them like trees or anything like that. Ooh, more benidoite. Hell yeah. Ooh, lots of benidoite, I think. Um... Okay, I break the snow block. Yes, there was a good reason to do that. You know what, honestly? Um, break more of the snow blocks. Ooh, 
Okay, I think that's all of the vault stone stuff that we have in there. Oh yeah, so chromatic logs, decorative item, mostly, can't be grown. You have to craft it using vault steel? Um, vault iron? One of those vault materials that's more precious as a material than a decorative block. So looting these is kind of nice. I think this is just straight up a mining room. I don't think I've seen anything that's not mining related so far. Either that or we got just extremely lucky with the mining procs or something. The RNG favors us. Let me tell you about a moment when RNG didn't favor us. So it was my first clear of M1S on... When was that? Thursday, I guess? And... <laughs> believe it or not, I only picked it up on Wednesday. So... That's pretty fast for me. <laughs> but... I was thankfully joining a static that had run it a few times before. And so I wasn't just hopping in, like, dry. And I've raided before, so I generally have knowledge of what's going to happen. But the thing is, it wasn't a full static. We were, like, I think six out of eight or something like that. And so... Oh boy, mob spawned. Everybody dies. Um... So... We get into M1S with two pugs. Or, you know, just random players that we picked up through Party Finder. And finally, after, you know, like five, six hours of learning the fight, because I'm rusty, I I will wholeheartedly admit that. I haven't raided since Shadowbringers. So I'm rusty, but I get the rust off. I'm relearning Astrologian because I haven't played that since Shadowbringers either. And we finally clear this fight. And we start rolling on the loot. I'm, like, pulling up my best in slots just to make sure that I know what I'm rolling for. And I roll specifically on that because they have, you know, loot rolls or whatever. And the pug rolls on all four items and gets them all. <laughs> like, I don't know. I personally, if I got, like, at least one item, I'd be like... Okay, I think I can kind of pass on the rest, or at least hold off until I see what everybody else needs. Like, because if I'm joining a static, the static takes priority. I understand this. But it was just, like, so rude, so unlucky that we lost all four items to somebody that we're probably never going to see again. <laughs> Doors. I'm so glad we got this, like, first room. Like, seriously. This is amazing. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to start doing some inventory management here. I definitely don't really need rail tracks yet. Huh. And I say rail tracks, but we're just talking about heckin' vanilla, you know? We're not even talking about create rails. If they were create rails, you bet I'd pick them up because I know how involved they are. Yes, all right, and we've got our bounty. That's hot, okay. All right. Easy. That must have been my Minecraft XP? Yeah. Ugh, I heckin' love Vein Miner, seriously. <laughs> oh, man. So, I love Infinity Evolved. And I love Create Above and Beyond. But I swear, the next pack that I play, I really hope. I pick something that has Vein Miner in it because I just, I can't gush enough about how useful this is. 
And there are like some packs that add Vein Miner through Tinker's Construct, and I think that's a pretty good compromise. Something like that, where you have to unlock the Vein Miner, is perfectly fine. I just I want the ability to do that. <laughs> uh. And there might be something that I don't know about in Infinity Evolved or CA and B that does the vein mining stuff. But like I said, I don't know it, so... Okay, I also think we are going to just take some time and put the vault ores that we have in here. And I don't really need the blue orchid, so I'm probably going to eat it. We're going to put our blossom leaves in there, too. And thankfully that's going to... Oh, and our chromatic logs. There we go. So those are all the things that I really want to keep. And I might be wrong, but I think this stuff functions similar to cactus. I'm pretty sure this will damage things that you throw on it, maybe. I'm going to keep one stack of stone. Okay, it doesn't. So that means I'm just going to walk away and turn my magnet on later. Like that. Um, we have warped wood, warp stone wall. Okay, I'm just going to pop this down in case there's not a lodestone. Yeah. I always forget, then remember what they are called. Now, I would very much like some living wood chests, please. Because at this point, I don't think it's the bonito weight that we're lacking on. I think it's the knowledge essence. And unfortunately, you can only get Knowledge Essence from Living Chests, so... No thank you, do not want. I didn't ask for this. Ooh. Oh, right, Thin Ice, yes. Okay, that is a thing. Okay, I guess I can use my jump boosts to get up there, so it is worth checking out, I suppose. Even if I can't really see all that much. Now, I wonder how easy it is, if at all, you can make thin ice in the overworld. Because, like, I am thinking of building, like, sort of fishing holes for the villagers to fish out of. And I think for some of the unused ones or whatever, it might be funny to have, like, thin ice around the edges or whatever, so that if I or an unsuspecting person who downloads this world afterwards doesn't know about that or doesn't remember that they're there, then uh, you just kind of walk under the thin ice and you get a jump scare. I don't think that'll kill anyone with fast enough reflexes because you'll just be like, Oh yeah, I'm in the ice now. All I have to do is swim up because it's a big hole. And uh, I don't think thin ice refreezes into thin ice. I think it refreezes into regular ice. So it's pretty much just a one-off jump scare gag, potentially. I'm going to need them to stop coming for me as I'm trying to leave. Thank you. Have I explored downstairs yet? I don't think I have, so let's go down. Oh boy. That's a lot. Hmm. Oh. That's right. Originally, I wasn't thinking about looting all the chests and stuff, but I remembered that, yes, this too generates elixir, so I might as well do it. Because we are at halfway. We're at halfway, and I'm only halfway done? Ugh, I'm losing my touch. I think I'm just getting too distracted talking about stuff and not, like, actually PTFO. If you are younger than 18, don't look that up. <laughs> or at the very least, get your parents' approval first. <laughs> it's nothing rude. It just contains one swear word.
Okay, that's more like it. See, a minute later and we already have more than the essence that I was expecting to generate in that amount of time, so I think we're okay. Um, am I not? Oh, right, because I used Vein Miner. Right, Vein Miner's a skill, and that will flip me off of it. I'm just going to keep going in a line, because that sounds fun. I know I shouldn't in terms of needing to double back on myself, potentially, but I don't care. This is a gummy room? Or a treasure room or something? I'm... This is clearly a themed room. And I just don't know what the theme is. I've seen gummy rooms, and this is not it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely stealing yellow concrete powder. Yellow is one of my colors, obviously, but... Oh no, I didn't want to get all the pastel blocks. Rip. Nope. Okay, well, I'm definitely getting rid of the pastel blocks when I get a chance. It's probably going to be right after this. Oh, okay, and we have a lodestone up there, so this is potentially an exit room if we need it. I hope we don't, but if we do... And then what I'll do is, when I leave this room, I'll mark it as, like, a double thingy thing. Yeah, that's, that's really great. Double thingy thing. I will mark it with double stairs so that we know in the next room, if we don't get a lodestone there, we can come back to this room and potentially look back around for it. Now, I'm going to have to pillar up, I think. I keep forgetting that I do have jump boost, but... Yellow concrete powder. I think I might take all the chains too. <gasps> Living chests! Yo, let's go. Okay, well, I'm definitely getting those. So we're definitely getting those. And the question is, can I walk over there? Or do I have to jump boost and all that? stuff. I think I'm going to have to jump boost and all that stuff. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get just relatively close. And then, yep, eat our way in here. Oh, nope. I'm not going to let myself get pushed off. Can't let myself get pushed off, more like. I feel so bad. You are endangered. I'm going to get more of these leaves because... Oop, that's not what I single player that probably just paused my time, but in multi- well, like when I convert this to a server, even though it will still be single player, I'm gonna need to be careful about that. Like, really careful about doing what I just did there, because that will continue to tick down the vault time, and I won't be able to recover as easily. Oh boy, okay, we are once again full on stuff, so I'm gonna put stuff in the shulker box. Starting with this decorative stuff, these things, this thing, that thing. Uh, heck, I'll hold on to that. I don't think I need it, but I'm going to hold on to it anyway. Okay, we've got those, we've got these. Wait, oh, you're different chains. Interesting. Okay, then in that case, I'm actually not going to hold on to you. There we go. Okay. Oh, I missed you. Great, thank you. I don't think there's anything up there. Heck yeah. Okay, we don't have exit yet, so I'm going to have to be careful about that. Now, we already know that there are... Or there were living chests in this vault. I, I mean, in this room. I don't know if they can potentially spawn multiple times per room, but that almost suggests that maybe we go downstairs... If there's a clean place that I can jump back up to, it's not looking like it, so I might just continue through to the next room. 
Ah, here we go. Nope, yep, this is good. This is fine. We go down here first. Okay, so we've got some ornate chests. We've got, ooh, those glowing blocks, yes. I like those potentially for decorative purposes, so we're definitely gonna harvest those. That's thin ice, I think. Yep, that's the nice. Okay. Ah, rip. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, I don't think we're going to have a problem whatsoever with hitting the objective. I just don't think I'm going to get as much out of this vault as I potentially could have if I was perfectly optimal. Oh, I forgot to vein mine. Ugh. See, that's what I'm talking about, though. Doing silly things, forgetting to vein mine. Focusing on decorative blocks instead of the actual objective. That's what the O in PTFO stands for. <laughs> Rip, okay. Um. <laughs> oh. This is the part where I'm gonna have to start making some hard decisions, I, I think. Can I just, okay, I can just kind of do this and we have more space, but this is gonna be heck to sort out when I get back to your world. Stealing all these good goods. Sunstone. Right. Oh, and they do give off light. Interesting. Honestly, I really like that, though. It gives us a lot more variety that we can use in the overworld, especially for things like roofs or floors that we don't intend to put any kind of, um, like a half slab in or carpeting. Basically things that you would normally need to light spam in order to not spawn mobs. And speaking of spawn mobs, the second I get my last knowledge point, I realized that I have cagerium eggs for zombies, skeletons, and cave spiders. And that effectively means that those are the three potentially most useful mobs in terms of vault drops, I think. Because I've seen, for sure, bones and zombie flesh. And while I don't think I've seen it just yet, I think spider eyes is potentially an item that's required for vaults. No, what am I doing? Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to keep going this way. I do know that this is an exit if I need it. And so we are just going to keep an eye on the clock. If I don't immediately see a lodestone here, I'm going to immediately start thinking about ways that I can get back to the one behind us. I don't immediately see a lodestone here. We're going to start with up as always. Yeah, we're going to start with up as always. down. Now my rhythm is a little off there, I can tell that much. Okay, that's good. Um, break the leaves, get the chest. Okay, we do have exit. At this point, it's just loot and find if there's a lodestone in this room. I don't think there is. I mean, I have to check down... Oh, no, there is. Okay, cool. All right, in that case, we just loot everything else in this room and I make my way over there. I don't think I'm going to visit the basement because I won't have enough time really to do that and come back up, I think. But we can try getting into this weird old room. There is nothing in here. I suspect this is just a generation quirk. 
or maybe there was something that was supposed to generate in there. Oh, chest that I missed. And I'm gonna lazily make my way over there. First complication, okay. I'm just gonna pillar up there. Okay, I don't think I can make my way over to the one in the corner safely and then make my way up here if I'm gonna have to jump for both and potentially fight mobs for both. So we're just gonna fight the mobs over here, loot the stuff, and then we'll leave. This is gonna be way safer and I think I'm potentially 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 overcompensating for yesterday where i only had 30 seconds to go that is in fact a reference to early internet all right uh... oh living chests okay we definitely we're gonna block over there because i forgot we can just kind of do this and we have a minute and a half so this is trivial Now I don't see any other living chests, so I think we... Oop, so I think I get rid of the heavy stone bricks, and we leave. And with that, yet another successful vault. Hmm, but I'm still gonna have to do inventory management, so I'll probably cut once again. Yep, so, once again... XP breakdown, as always, objective is the most. Elixir vaults give a lot of XP, so I'm not complaining about that. We then got the most from killing mobs, then chests, and mining blocks, which makes sense. Only the first room was a mining room. No modifiers. We looted the most wooden chests, as expected, but we did get a whopping eight, so I'm hoping we got some good knowledge points up in there. And let's see. We killed the most winter walkers, but they're not worth that much XP. Polar bears are more XP dense, which is unfortunate for them. Oh, that's good. I hit escape and I still got my reward there on the ground. I'm just going to drop this and I'm going to cut back to when I have done my inventory management and we've also just hit level 20. So I'll be right back and we'll have some fun stuff to talk about when I do. Okay, so I did the barest minimum of inventory management, and we've got enough free space in our inventory that we can do stuff now. So you can see that we have completed the mine benidoite ore in the vault, and now we have this, uh, light the brazier's objective, because once again we get more benidoite gems, and that's pretty rad. And so that means we got two chests. The, whoop, elixir crate which is going to have the usual goodies, and then this, which I don't think gives us any equipment, but has some other good stuff in it. So, let me just arrange these in our usual fashion real quick. And I think I'll probably end up going over the skill points and the like in the build phase video, so we'll just get right onto identification here. Interesting. So we got stuff... Oh, this might be one of my favorite sword transmogs. I'll have to think about it, especially because I am going for the whole wolf thing, but that's fine. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. For now, legs. Lower ability power, more health, zero item rarity, so I keep going with what I'm doing. This sword is an omega sword, so I'll... What did I just do? Oh, did I accidentally just heal? Hold on. Yes, I accidentally just healed... Because why? Oh, it must be set to R? Okay, that makes sense. But, sword. The one on the right definitely has more damage, definitively speaking. Assassin damage, soul chance, chaining attack. Yes, chaining attack is good. It's a little bit slower, but I think the attack damage makes up for that. Like, I think it's a DPS gain, potentially, anyway. Maybe. I mean, it's 0 .04 attack speed increase so it can't affect the dps that much i don't think improved sweeping hit chance interesting i might play with it for a little bit see how much i like it and like i said it is a transmog that i really like so we'll think about that helmet um 
The only thing it really has going for it is the ability power. And it's slightly more armor, but I think, no, we recycle this. And I want to make sure that I don't recycle my other sword, just in case I decide to go back to that. Vault Boot, I think the one on the left is still better, just because, you know, epic rarity or whatever. It's got more durability, or the current ones have more durability, armor, and ability power, and the item rarity, and mana regen. Yeah, just on the whole... Actually, the one on the right I just noticed has the plus four armor, so it has more armor, but I think we're still going to get rid of it. The one thing that I do like is it gives us more transmog ability. I don't think Fox is necessarily going to fit in with the whole wolf thing that we've got going on, but that's fine. Now for the axe... Left definitely has more attack damage and attack speed and is soulbound. Slightly lower dungeon damage, but that's whatever. I think we keep our normal axe and we salvage this too. So we have four items to salvage and otherwise, you know, pretty successful vault run. We hit level 20, just saying that again, and we got a lot done, I think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. And as always, I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comments below. So with that, I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everybody.